Because we'll have a... Hi there, how you doing? Yeah, you, yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, no, put that remote down, put it down. Now, I bet you you're one of these people who just takes their television for granted. You turn it on, and suddenly you got all these channels to pick and choose from. You get bored with one, you just switch to something else. But how? On. Oh, Very funny. What I was going to say was, but how do all these channels find their way to your television set? Well, let me tell you, the journey can be a long one. thing we have to do is capture my image and for that we need a camera now a television camera is a pretty complicated looking piece of equipment but essentially it has one job it has to take my image and convert it into an electronic signal it does that by scanning my image and breaking it down into thousands of little pieces the signal from the camera then gets recorded onto magnetic tape right over there. After some editing, a little music, and some sound effects, you end up with a finished program. Ah. And right here, I just happen to have an episode of Inquiring Minds. But what's interesting is that there are no pictures on this tape. It's not like film. It's just a bunch of electronic signals. So the question is, how do we get the signals from here to your house? Hey, I've been looking for this. This show goes to air in five minutes. signal is to transmit it from an antenna high above the ground and right now inquiring minds is being transmitted from the highest antenna in the world that thing right over there okay it's actually the highest freestanding antenna well anyway back at your home the signal transmitted by the antenna is picked up by the rabbit ears on your TV set but it's still just a bunch of electronic signals that is, until your TV converts those signals back into the same picture originally recorded in the studio. Sounds like a pretty good system, but there's a couple of problems. Sometimes the signal can pick up some interference on its way to your set, which means you don't get a very sharp image. The other problem is that television signals travel in a fairly straight line away from the antenna. So once you get far enough away, the curvature of the Earth makes it impossible for the signal to reach your house. It turns out that a television signal being broadcast by an antenna only has a range of about 200 kilometers. So how do we get our signal to the millions of people who want to watch Inquiring Minds that live beyond the reach of the antenna? Well, that's when we have to look to the sky for some help. Orbiting some 36,000 kilometers above the Earth are a number of television satellites. They essentially function like big mirrors in the sky. The station on the ground uses a powerful microwave beam to send its signal up to the satellite. The satellite receives the signal and then reflects it back using a much wider beam. Back on the ground, if you have a satellite dish and the proper access code, you can receive the signal right at your home. But most of us rely on someone else to do that job. Like a cable company. A cable company is basically a giant collecting station. It has a yard full of receiving dishes that collect signals from a variety of different satellites. These signals, which come from television stations all over the continent, are then packaged 
stitched together and sent to your home via what else? A cable. Now, remember I said that the journey of a television signal can be a long one? Well, consider this. If you're watching me right now via your local cable company, then before my picture reaches your set, it's already had to have traveled more than 70,000 kilometers to get up to the satellite and back, which is almost the same distance as traveling twice around the Earth. But there are some limitations to how far a satellite can broadcast a television signal. Let's suppose we want to send our signal to the other side of the world, say China, for example. Well, because of the shape of the Earth, one satellite just can't reach that far. So instead, what we have to do is uplink our signal to one satellite, downlink it to the ground, uplink it to another satellite, and finally downlink it to a station in China where they can broadcast it to the people. Okay, 